So there's various conditions we have to uh, control in our closed environment, such as humidity, temperature, CO2 levels. We also have to control uh, corrosion inside the plants, which will be done by a corrosion sensor. Uh, the lower temperatures uh, will have to go in the stages where plants are in early growth and then temperatures will change uh, within uh, different life cycles of the plant. So um, uh, we're gonna have different lighting for uh, each one of the uh, chambers that the plants grow in. And for optimal growth, the plants, they wanna have at least 12 to 16 hours a day of um, light to light absorption um, to grow properly. Um, advantages in development and nutrition um, produce edible uh, quantity of lettuce. And so our light fixtures will probably be LED strips mounted um, to each tray and connected to a timer, um, which will be on one of the microcontrollers um, clock cycles. And that will kind of tell us like, you know, how much uh, light absorption each plant is getting uh, throughout the day and throughout the night. And so different lights running at different wattages will be used um, for both germinating and mature plants. So now, um, how's all this stuff gonna get powered? Uh, obviously, the um, Arduinos could run um, supplied straight from the Raspberry Pi, and each one of that, that'll be uh, rent, uh, connected via USB port. Um, the pumps and the motors, the actuators will all be powered probably by an external, uh, either outlet or external power supply. And um, everything being controlled, uh, each sensor can be controlled by the Arduino. And depending on how many uh, port pins we have uh, will depend on how many sensors can be controlled by each Arduino.